From this lecture, we will start a new chapter and the name of the chapter is LTI systems where LTI stands for linear time invariant. So we will discuss linear time invariant systems in great detail and to start with linear time invariant systems, you must know how to check if the given system is linear or nonlinear and you should also know how to check if the given system is time invariant or time variant. We have already discussed these two topics in great detail. So this particular lecture is the prerequisites for LTI systems in which we will revise the linearity and the time variance of the system. I will first talk about the linearity of the system. In order to check if the given system is linear or nonlinear, we need the system relationship and by using the system relationship, we can easily check if the system follows the law of additivity and the law of homogeneity. And if system follows the law of additivity as well as the law of homogeneity, we say the system follows the principle of superposition and the systems following the principle of superposition are known as linear systems. So our system will be linear if it follows law of additivity and law of homogeneity. And if any one out of two is violated, the system is known as non-linear system. So this is the process to check the linearity of the system. But I will not suggest this process because we have already used this process a lot while solving the problems and by using the results after solving those problems, we have obtained these important properties. So by using these properties, we will find out if the given system is linear or nonlinear. So you only need to remember the properties I have written here. Now we will move to the time invariant and time variant systems. To find out if the given system is time invariant or time variant, we follow the process in which we provide the delay by T0 to the output of the system and then we record the delayed output. Now in step number 2, instead of providing the delay to the output, we provide the same delay to the input and after providing the delay, we will have xt minus t0, the delayed input and then we will feed it to the same system and if the output of the system is same as the output recorded here, we will call it time invariant system and if the two outputs are not same, we will call it time variant system. So this is the complete process to check if the given system is time invariant or time variant but I will not suggest you to follow this process because we have already solved many questions following the same process and we have obtained three sufficient and compulsory conditions for a system to be time invariant system. The first condition says there should be no time scaling. The second condition says the coefficient used in the system relationship should be constant. And the third condition says any added or subtracted term in the system relationship other than input and output must be constant or zero. And if a system satisfies all the three conditions, it is a time invariant system. So we will use the properties and conditions which you can see on your screen to find out if the given system is LTI system or not. Now let's move to the examples. In the first example, yt is equal to xt plus 5. We will first check if the system is time invariant or not. If you see the first condition, you will find there should be no time scaling. And there is no time scaling in the output and the input. Therefore, the first condition is satisfied. In the second condition, it says coefficient in the system relationship should be constant. The coefficient here is 1. The coefficient here is 1. So the coefficient in the system relationship is constant. So the second condition is also satisfied. According to the third condition, any added or subtracted term in the system relationship except input and output must be constant or zero. So 5 here is the added term and it is constant. It is constant. So the third condition is also satisfied and we can say that this system is time invariant. Now we will check whether the system is linear or not. If you see the third property, you will find if any added or subtracted term other than input and output is available in the system relationship, then the system will be non-linear. So here we have 5, which is the added term. And according to the third property, the system is non-linear. So the system is 
time invariant but non-linear. Therefore, the system is not a LTI system. Now we will move to the example number two. In the second example, output yt is equal to x t square. You can see there is time scaling. There is time scaling. And if you see the first condition for the time invariant systems, you will find it says there should be no time scaling. But here in this case, we have the time scaling. So the system is time variant, but the system is linear. Why it is linear? Because the system linearity is independent of time scaling. The system is time variant and linear. Therefore, it is not a LTI system. Now we will move to the example number three. In the third example, yt is equal to cos t xt. yt is the output. yt is the output. xt is the input. And this cos t here is the coefficient. Coefficient. And if you see the second property of linear systems, you will find the system linearity is independent of the coefficient used in the system relationship. So because of this coefficient, the linearity will not change. The system will be linear. But if you see the second condition for the time invariant systems, you will find the coefficient in system relationship should be constant. Here we have the coefficient equal to cos t. It is not a constant coefficient. Why it is not a constant coefficient? Because we have t here. Now varying the time t, the coefficient will also change. And hence the system is time variant. So again, our system is not a linear time invariant system. Let's take the fourth problem. I will write the fourth problem here. And this yt is equal to twice of xt. Again, there is coefficient. We have the coefficient equal to 2. But this time, the coefficient is constant. It is not the function of time. It is constant. So the system is linear as well as it is time invariant because all the other properties are satisfied in this particular case. There is no time scaling. There is no added or subtracted term. There is only a coefficient equal to 2. The coefficient does not affect the linearity of the system. So the system is linear and the coefficient is constant. Therefore, the system is time invariant. So this time our system is linear time invariant system. I will explain other properties of linear time invariant systems in the coming presentation. And in the next presentation, which is also the prerequisites for the linear time invariant systems, I will explain the use of Laplace transform, how we can analyze the linear time invariant systems in the frequency domain instead of time domain. And I will give you one example explaining the whole process. So this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.